This product review will be about the company, the Boston Beer Company. Stay tuned. Welcome back to another episode of Beer Towns with Scott. Today's video review will be about the Boston Beard Company. The owner of the company is a guy named Mike. Their website is the, the bostonbeardcompany.com. They're also on Instagram and all that's linked in the description box below. I do have a discount code for you for your first purchase. Type in FIRST15 to get you 15% off of your first purchase. It's a one-time use only. Saves you a couple bucks. The Boston Beer Company has been around since I think around November of 2018. So they're still fairly new to the bearding game. And this is one of the best companies I have reviewed of this year, hands down. Mike puts a lot of time, effort, and quality care into everything he's making. As of right now, he only has beard oils and beard butters. But I think he's going to be changing that up here in the future. Maybe, maybe a year from now, but I know he's been talking about making other products. So be on the lookout for those in the future. Beard oils, $19, one ounce. Beard butters, $22, two ounces. Combo, 30. I think that speaks for itself. Get yourself the combo and save you some money. Look at it this way. You're gonna save $10 if you get a combo. I think that goes without saying. He also offers a trio of his first three scents, Dark Citron, Bonfire, and Jack Frost. And the batch, which is his first two beard butters he made, which is a brown sugar and an ash scent. Those are 35. 45 for the trio, 35 for the batch of the two butters. So let's get back to the scents here. Bonfire is a tobacco, Hawaiian sandalwood, vanilla, and campfire. Also, and then he has dark citron, which is an orange black pepper. Jack Frost, which is clove, peppermint, and fresh rain. Three different scents, and I think there's a really three really good scents to start out with. I really would like to try the Dark Citron and Jack Frost in the future. So today we're talking about bonfire oil. The ingredients of all oils, argan, grape seed, jojoba, sweet almond. Again, look at this labeling. Amber glass bottle, typical standard dropper. This is a vinyl label. This is one of the best labels I've seen. It's very simple with the Boston City skyline. It doesn't list the ingredients on here, but as long as I can read them from the website or somewhere that they offer, that's all I need to know. Bonfire. Just so everybody knows, because I'm sure if you watch my channel, you know in the Magruder Mansion, we are fans of smoke. The campfire scent, because we do live on a farm. Tobacco, that's the sense that my wife likes to use. This is, man, this is money. This is really good. I absolutely love this. This is a crazy, 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 crazy thing for me to say. I wear this at nighttime. I wear it during the day, but I love smelling this at night. Mandy loves it as well. I have no idea why she does, but this is a nighttime scent for me. Take a look at how much I've used and the little bit of time that I've used that I've had it. I'm really digging this scent, Mike. This is definitely a six to eight hour scent for me. Goes right into the beard. When I put it in my beard, it doesn't, um, it doesn't, it absorbs really quickly. I had, I had a brain fart there for a second. It absorbs in really quickly and the scent, the scent doesn't overpower the product because you would, a lot of people would get mistaken and say, oh, it's bonfire, it's gonna stink. No. The campfire is in here, obviously you smell that, but the tobacco, it calms it down, I think, perfectly. The Hawaiian sandalwood leave, give it in the vanilla, give it a little bit of a sweet. The woody, I think it kind of blends in with the campfire because it kind of goes hand in hand. I think he blended this very well. Two solid thumbs up for bonfire today, Mike. Good job. Next, we're going to talk about the butter that matches with it for me. Ash. Take a look at this label here. It's a little bit smaller than the, the lid because when Mike first started making products, he was selling one ounce butters only 
and that's okay. I don't have a problem with it whatsoever. It ha I forget the name of the bridge, but this is a famous bridge that is in Boston. I can't remember for, for the love of me. Twist off cap, glass jar with the cosmetic seal. I think it's what it's, it's I've seen this in a lot of cosmetic products. Take it off. Now, this, the butter ingredients, sweet almond, argan, jojoba, grapeseed, of course, and beeswax, shea butter, and kokum butter, K-O-K-U-M. It's a different one. I've, I've, I've used this in other products before. It's a good, it's a good quality product, I will say. This is one of the unique butters that I've used. All three of them are. They're very, they're equal in quality all across the board. This is what I would call, well, I got this actually from Mo the Bearded Shark. Follow his YouTube channel, by the way. He has turned me on to calling beard butters that are almost like beard balms hybrids. And I, I, I do agree with this. When I use this in my beard, it the butter the conditioning factor is phenomenal, but it also has a little bit of a hold to it. Take a look at when I put my finger in here. It's a little bit on the tough side to get out. That tells me that there is a little bit of a hold to it, and that's exactly what Mike wanted. He wanted it to have a little bit of a hold, not too much that you can call it a balm. Put it in the hand. Good old one-two. There's a little bit left over there because it has a little bit of a holding factor to it. I absolutely love this scent. I'm going to put it on my body. Yes, I do like to wear this as like a body scent as well. I like it. Man, this ash, it is fire. It, when you think of ash, when you think of this scent, think of fire and like a thick cigar smoke. That's what you want to think about. Cade oil, vanilla, Texas cedar wood and tobacco. Now, you might be wondering what Cade actually is, and I had to ask Mike because I'd never heard of it before. It's almost like twigs, like wood from like a mature plant. Like, just think earthy, and that's the scent that you're going to come up with. It's good. It call me crazy, but I like to wear the, this combination at nighttime. It's a solid two thumbs up from me. We're going to go ahead and talk about his two newest scents. We're going to start with Churchill. Churchill, apple, but apple, bourbon, and leather. Take a look at the labeling from this butter. Again, you see it's a, it's a little bit bigger. This one was designed for the two-ounce container. Churchill. Same label. The labels are all the same. The only difference is it just has the name right across there. It's exactly what it says it is. Apple, bourbon, leather. That's what it is to me. I don't I don't smell anything extra. I smell all three of these equally in here. The apple is not the first thing I smell. I smell a combination of the apple and the leather mixed together. That's what I'm smelling immediately at the at the beginning. And I think that the bourbon gives it a little bit of a I don't want to say like a, a another sweeter side, but it's almost like Almost like a sourish scent. And I don't mean that in any kind of a negative way. You know how some whiskeys or bourbons have like a sourish taste to them? That's kind of like what I get from this. It's almost like a sweet and sour at the same time, but more on the sweet. The leather, just enough in there. It's not overpowering because we all know that leather scents can be fairly strong. You nailed this, Mike. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. This is really, really good. I will say this is Mandy's least favorite of the three that I have to review because she's not the biggest fan of leather, but she did like it. This scent for me lasted a good four to six hours. And that's and that's not a negative thing at all because I do not expect every company's scents to last forever because if they would, they probably wouldn't be in business, I guess. <laughs> but it is a good, strong four to six hour scent of very manly scent. This is like a sophistication scent to me. Two thumbs up for this beard oil. Talking about the matching Churchill butter. Same container. This is a little bit on the lighter side for the scent for me. But the conditioning factor 
is exactly the same as the Ash. All three butters I'm talking about today, they're equal in quality and working factors. I did not have a problem with any of these whatsoever. I actually use these more on the night times than I did during the day. I was looking to see how long the oils would last and then I would go vice versa and see how long the butter scent would last and how long I had to, if I had any itchiness or anything like that, how long the product actually performed for me. No problems whatsoever. Zero problems for either one of the, any of these at all. Two thumbs up on the Churchill. And I gotta say, this is my favorite of the three that I'm reviewing today, Sinatra. This is really simple. Aaron Rodgers from Rogers, Bar Rogers Bearded Barbecue. Rogers Beards and Barbecue. I always say your name wrong on whenever I'm making videos. So I always call him just Aaron Rodgers. He messaged Mike and said, have you ever thought about making this scent profile? This is a very simple scent profile, but it's classy. It's gentleman. It's unique. And it's only two things strawberry and tobacco that's it when you think of tobacco the first thing you think of to match it with almost every time because almost all the companies i reviewed have gone this route with a cherry and tobacco it's true aaron was the first to think of to using strawberry it's it's very very different i absolutely love this beard oil scent it stands out the cherry, honestly, uh, to me, it has more of a sharper scent than a strawberry. This is smooth. A very, very sophisticated, smooth scent. This is about a four to six hour scent for me as well. The quality and the thickness of the oils, which I haven't even talked about yet. They are on the yellow side. That's okay. I've never had any problem. Never, uh, never had anybody tell me themselves that they've had a problem with their beard oils staining their beards. I know it's a myth, but for me, I've never experienced it or heard anyone ever tell me that it does. But it is definitely on the light and medium in thickness. I'd say right in the middle of a light and medium thickness oil. I love this scent. Sinatra is definitely in my top 10 beard oil scents of 2019. It is my favorite scent that I've tried so far from the Boston Beard Company. And again, I'll show you the matching beard butter minus my hairs. It's the same. I wanted to show you this on camera, and I'm not knocking this from, I'm not knocking the Boston Beer Company. Take a look up close. It does look like it's a little bit on the grainy side, but it's not. And it's, it, it's, it's a very, very, I'm not saying this in a negative way. It's a unique product. His beer butters do justice. They really, really do. You get a little bit of a holding factor. So that's why I stay and I agree with Mo when I call this a hybrid because it's almost like the best of both worlds. Now, I'll say these two things for last. These are only testers. They are not available for sale, so you cannot purchase them. I repeat, you cannot purchase these two. They are not available. I received two pat two oils from Mike just before I started this review. Harbor. This is a scent that he's coming out with in the future. And this is another scent that keep in mind I'm the only person who has these testers, so they're not available. He's trying out pineapple and bay rum. And my first impression of using it, sweet. It's sweet. You guys are gonna be amazed at this because Again, this is a scent that I've never seen anyone use too much. It's pineapple. I really enjoy this. It's a very soft scent. It's definitely a summer scent for me. I can't wait to dive into using this one even more. Now, this next one I'm talking about, I will be the person releasing this. Holiday. This is named after Doc Holiday from one of my favorite movies, Tombstone. You might want to remember that for one of my giveaways in the future. Hint, hint. Gunpowder, leather, pipe tobacco, cedar wood, black pepper, amber. I've already smelled this before because I have the original tester and he said he didn't have a lot of gunpowder in it. So he sent me this one and this is a night and day difference. I've already told him about this as well. There's only a, one other word that describes this scent. 
man. Just think man. A manly man. That's all I have to say about this. I smell everything. I smell the gunpowder up front with a little bit of the spice. I smell the leather. Makes It reminds me of like a cowboy. It really does. I get a little bit of smoky from the tobacco. I get a little bit of the grainy from the wood. The black pepper's definitely in there for the spice too. And the amber gives it a little bit of sweet. This is going to shock a lot of people when you get your hands on this. Two thumbs up, a solid five-star Beer Times with Scott rating for the Boston Beer Company today. What do I like about the Boston Beer Company? Very simple look, completely. Very simple, but it, it, res it resonates and shows the good things Boston has to offer. Very simple labeling, direct to the point. You get the name, you get the company. The ingredients not being on there doesn't really make a big factor to me because you do have to purchase them from the website, so they are available on there. And I'm not knocking that he doesn't put them on there. Maybe he'll do it in the future. But for two for two ounce butter, twenty two bucks, twenty to nineteen dollars for a one ounce oil, or put them together for thirty bucks. If you think about that, that's almost exactly in the middle of the standard market average because this is a $15 average price for a one ounce oil and a two ounce balm or butter is $15 as well on average price. You're getting an average price for great, manly, sophisticated beer products. Do I recommend this company to you guys 100%? I absolutely love everything that I have from the Boston Beer Company. So the pricing, the pricing is right across the board for me. It gets a check, performance. I don't think I found very few that are equal or as good as the Boston Beer Company this year. Check mark there. Packaging, I think it's good. And like I said, it's simple. Nothing's going to spill on these labels because they're vinyl, so you're getting good quality packaging as well. And when I received these, they were completely bubble wrapped all the way around and a layer of bubble wrap on top of the whole package. So packaging plus plus. Recommendation to you guys? Absolutely. 100%. So again, two thumbs up. Very solid five-star Beer Times with Scott rating for Mike and the Boston Beer Company. You did it again, Mike. You knocked it out of the park. I'm impressed 100%. So, as I said in the beginning of the video, use the code FIRST15 to get 15% off your first order from thebostonbeercompany.com. Follow them on Instagram as well. And we have a giveaway that we've already started that we haven't had a lot of people go to. I'm going to talk about it right now. Rules of the giveaway are really simple. You must follow the Boston Beer Company, and Beer Times with Scott on Instagram. Number two, you must be subscribed to this channel, and I will check. And you must live in the United States of America. That's all you have to do to, to be a part of it. There's one thing, you, there's one thing you're going to be, you're not going to like. You're going to have to give me and Mike your, your best Boston accent. It's going to sound funny. But I can't do it. I'm not doing it on camera. I've already done it to Mike, and it still still needs a lot of work. But you can recite a poem. You can recite your favorite movie, whatever it may be. Go to Instagram, make a post, make a video of you doing your favorite Boston accent. Tag me and tag the Boston Beer Company. We're going to pick two people. And one person's going to win a Churchill one person's going to win a Sinatra oil and balm, oil and butter combo from us. And we're going to run this. This video is going to be posted on July 16, 2019. I'm going to run this video and this giveaway until August 1st. So you have literally two weeks. We're going to let it build. I want to see a lot of participation in this. I think this company deserves a really good giveaway and some good uh some good feedback because they're knocking it out of the park and i hope you guys participate in this giveaway because these are two awesome awesome amazing scents i think you guys are going to enjoy them so i can't wait to see your videos start tagging 
What are you waiting for? Make your video. Keep on bearding, everybody. I'll see you in the next one.